Hey everyone, this is Jim Graham with rcgroups.com and today we're looking at a mini DVR from Surveil Zone. Now when I'm out with my quad or my plane or my FPV truck, I usually have a camera on board like a GoPro that's shooting footage, but I wanted something that I could also capture what's really happening through the goggles or the screen with my on-screen display and everything else. And so that's why I called up my friends at Surveil Zone and they sent this to me for a review. The first thing I noticed when I pulled it out of the box was that it's made out of uh, aluminum, the case is anyway, and it feels very sturdy and very secure. I have had this to the field many times and had zero issues with it. And so I guess the greatest part about this is that it is mini and it will slip into your pocket. On the site they show that it will fit in a pack of cigarettes and you can carry it around that way. I don't smoke so uh, I don't have any packs of cigarettes, but anyway. Um, Everything you need is actually on the unit itself. You can get to the menu, escape the menu, change your menu settings, as well as play and move around your videos with these buttons. And then this is the important part of the button set. You have a slide on and off, and then this slides forward to record. And then you have your AVN right here. And then on this side, we have a DC 5 volt in, it comes with a power supply that plugs in, but I always charge it with my USB cable. You can also use the USB to get the video out. Then you have an AV out, so you can go into this unit back out to a screen or whatever else, maybe another set of goggles. You can also utilize this with this unit. And this plugs into your AV out and allows you to turn your recording on and off remotely so this could live in your pocket and then you can have your little button here and uh, you can turn it or turn your record on and off that way and then we have a lock position which let's say you had it on record and you didn't want anything to happen to it or it wasn't on record and you didn't want it to accidentally record you can hit this and lock everything up reset so if something were to freeze which has not happened with me stick a little needle in there and you can reset the whole unit and then the SD card slot, I'm a huge fan of SD card slots as we all are because that means I can take my media out and just plug it into my computer or take my media and hand it to someone who wants to upload it to the internet while we're at Seth or something like that. So that's 32 gig maximum right there. So let's take a little look at the menu. I won't go into a lot of depth. I am including a link to a PDF file with all the instructions you need to run this little unit. But utilizing my wireless remote you could also control this from these buttons but this is easier i'll go into the menu and then you can use your arrows to move to different parts and you hit play and you can get in and change just about everything on this microphone frame rate uh, video quality timestamp i'm going to exit and move to the Event playback, video file, photo file, auto file, all files. And then we'll go to the third option here, which is just your settings option. Language, date, video output, power save, vibe alert. One thing that I will mention is uh, I believe the default, if you turn this unit on and fail to turn it off, it will simply run until the battery runs out. You can change that here so that it will turn off in 10 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. Depends on what you're using it for. So let's jump out of that and jump into how it's connected to everything. So I have my unit and as you see it comes with an AV cable. And this AV cable I have plugged into a barrel plug. And then that's going to the AV cable that came with my goggles. So these are my sky zones and I have AV out right here. And that is what the mini DVR is pulling the signal from. You could be doing this with a receiver or um, you know whatever it is that you use to view your, your stream. And then just so you can see what I'm shooting with, this is the Boscom TR1 5.8 all in one unit, very awesome. And then that's just Velcro to my battery and sitting on my table. And so that's how simple it is. A few other things I'll show you. Um, it also came with this awesome leather case. Now, you wouldn't think I'd get so excited about a leather case, but it really is nice. So when I'm at the field, I usually carry it in that. There's a hole to do your video in with. 
or actually uh, video in goes here and then the hole for this would be for your video out or for your little on off button and then it's got a little strap so you can put it on your belt if you like but overall I'm very happy it really did what I wanted it to now let's talk about the screen real fast and then we'll jump out and look at some video so the unit is mini which is great because that means it's small but the other problem is the screen is small so if you're in shade or a covered area it's fine but if you're out in the sunlight it's pretty hard to read everything there's information given on the screen battery life what your uh, your video setting is some other information and then up here is the important part record so if you slide your record button up this will then flash red on and off letting you know your record that always worked for me I never questioned whether I was recording or not so that's great all right that's kind of an overview once again I have the PDF instructions that you can go take a look at and learn everything about this unit all the menus all the options at the bottom of this review if you follow the link back to rcgroups.com and now we'll go take some a look at some footage shot FPV and of course what you're going to record is all determined on your signal and how far away you are and where your airplane's at and so uh, but that's what exactly what this is for for uh, for me anyway for recording my FPV on screen display all that stuff so we'll go take a look at that and we'll talk then so this is the first time I really had used the unit. I'm in the air right now, and as you can see, I have my on-screen display on. I'm in ACM, so I'm loitering, and I'm doing a figure eight. And the interesting part is right there. <laughs> I captured a hit. I, uh, I came up, actually, I came up under another airplane as it went over, and my uh, right aileron has now been stuck, fully deflected. So all this airplane wants to do is pull right. And then I get to document with my mini DVR my attempt at landing this uh, now defective airplane, at least until I got it to the ground, uh, through the goggles. So I'm not kidding. Basically what we did is I we went up in the air and I hit ACM. And as it was doing figure eights, I pulled my mini DVR out of my pocket, hit record, slid it back in my pocket, and... Um, then I had this event occur and so I really was excited when everything was over that I had actually captured this on camera and without the mini DVR I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have captured it. I know I wouldn't have because the onboard camera wasn't set to record I just went up and we were gonna fly some formation and so uh, you can see the quality here this is basically just capturing what's coming out of my video transmitter as I fly over myself right there. And I really didn't think I was going to land this thing, about $1,000 worth of equipment. And at the very end, it landed perfectly. And I caught it all with my mini DVR from surveilzone.com. I really like it. I can't imagine not having it. Go check them out. I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com.